What's up everyone, my name's Tenebris Infinite, and with the recent update of Generation Zero, we've seen the introduction of Assignments, daily and weekly repeatable activities that we can complete for basic resources like medkits, ammo, crafting mats, and pretty much everything in between them. Safe to say, we've all been asking for a very long time for repeatable activities, and though our first iteration here is not the perfect case of repeatable activities, it's hard to deny that this is a step in the right direction, and with a bit of polish could become an incredibly rewarding, and most importantly fun, thing to do in our day-to-day -day of Gen Z. So I asked you dudes and lady dudes to cast your votes, and honestly the turnout has made me really happy to see. Almost all of us uh, that voted agree that ultimately assignments are a good thing, and the majority of us even see the further potential of assignments in the future. This is a win no matter how you voted. If you don't like assignments, then if they get better, you might wind up liking them. If you like them, then them getting better is only a good thing for you. And if you see them needing improvements, then if that happens, we'll be sated. So in this feedback video, I'm going to review all the facets of assignments and give out the ideas I've cooked up over the past week and a half for how these assignments could become even better than they currently are. So we see three mission types across daily and weekly assignments. Combat assignments, bike related assignments, and crafting assignments. Daily combat missions currently are excellent, in my opinion. They're a, a quick thing that you can pop in daily for that will reward you for doing what you'd usually do. Though sometimes with a little bit more focus, like when you have to kill seekers with melee weapons. Weekly combat missions though, leave something to be desired. They're insanely easy for us pro gamers out here. Usually to the point where you couldn't even tell the difference between a weekly and a daily mission. Tell me, which one of these is the weekly and which one of these is the daily tank challenge? Seriously, there is no difference between daily and weekly challenges currently uh, in the assignment system. Weekly challenges in general just need some serious polish. They either need to be more engaging for the solo player, or they need to be more large scale for the greater community. Weekly combat assignments could be greatly improved by making them community effort challenges that require huge numbers of machines. 10,000 tanks, 500,000 hunters, 1 million freaking runners, those kind of numbers. It would get the community to work together, it would engage uh, multiplayer, it would give us huge feats to accomplish, and then it would be really easy to justify giving us better rewards, as this is something we'll be talking about in a minute here. Uh, in order to be a part of the rewards, you would need to reach maybe a certain checkpoint, say 100 out of a million runners. Then after that, you can earn the rewards provided that that million checkpoint is met by the whole community. You could even make these interchangeable as monthly assignments if need be. Adding monthlies into the mix could definitely spice things up on top of the current formula. Bike assignments are a bit ridiculous currently though. All we've seen is hitting 50 kilometers an hour and then hitting 60 on the bike, and that's like actually impossible to do unless you jump off of a cliff, which I totally don't advise doing. The rewards usually are not worth it, uh, but the laugh might be though. Bike assignments need to fall more in line with what bikes are actually used for in the game. So instead of giving us a hit 50 on the bike type challenge, it instead could be like bike for 10 minutes or something. That way, as we gradually move around the map, we'll be inspired to hop on our bikes along the way for that little extra reward at the end. As for top speed challenges, instead try to cut them down a little bit so that you don't need to literally die to complete the assignment. Uh, we haven't seen a weekly bike assignment yet, but for the weeklies, we could see the reintroduction of bike race missions, maybe? Currently with the only one on the mainland, uh, currently with only one on the mainland, that means that if we would have both bike races, one would be locked behind DLC, and that's not very cool. So, this would maybe mean that we could see new bike race set pieces introduced solely for assignments across the map as we see future facelifts, or 
we could see a completely different type of assignment for a weekly bike race challenge. Say, make it from Litorp to Ostrovik in two minutes, or Hagabota to Stenmira in a certain amount of time, or even crazier, Seltolman to Clint. Stuff like that. It, it would trigger basically like when you leave the city, and it would complete when you enter that end city. I think it would actually be pretty fun, and uh, again, you know, if you made the timing for it really, really tight, then it would be engaging too, because we would have to try it a couple times in order to actually complete the weekly bike assignment. And then lastly, for crafting assignments, I'm sad to say that this is the most disappointing side of the three assignments. Most crafting assignments are completely broken. Anything related to actually making something currently does not trigger in the game though deconstruction type assignments do seem to work uh which is a bit of a shame uh you know it really sucks when the team introduces something and it hasn't been tested enough or maybe you know maybe it hasn't even been tested at all and then it comes into the game and it's completely broken so uh personally i think that it would just be nice to see the team really get crafting assignments fixed within the next couple months if they can uh but personally for crafting assignments i don't think that we should have weeklies for crafting that kind of just sounds like a recipe for tedious and boring assignments for us to complete uh if the actual crafting side of these assignments could be fixed up then they could be a menial daily task we could engage with but there isn't really much room to expand on this until some further methods of crafting are added, like base building, weapon crafting, syringes, and the sort that we've seen put on the table so far by the team. If base building were introduced though, then weeklies would be absolutely sick for crafting challenges. Say produce like X amount of resources, or complete X amount of resistance raids, or build a specific structure, or have a certain amount of survivors in your camp, that sort of stuff. I think it would be really excellent and could reward people even for engaging in base building if that really isn't their thing in the first place. And if you do enjoy base building, then you would just be getting a cherry on top for doing what you enjoy. So out of the three so far, combat is by far the most engaging of these assignments. But the other two, uh, definitely with some love and attention, could become really fun to do as well. So my hope is that the teams coded the assignments to be flexible enough to adapt to this sort of feedback that they've been receiving so far. Now next up, let's talk about the rewards. And again, sadly, this is something that I'm disappointed to say, but in my opinion, the rewards for assignment has been a major letdown, at least for me. Currently, we get trivial rewards for weeklies, further making them completely indistinguishable from dailies. Rewards are just kind of magically poofed into our inventory, which has its own host of numerous issues. And ultimately, assignments, when done in repetition, like what I've been doing for the past week and a half now, begin to feel really kind of unrewarding and pointless to complete. So how can we fix this? I might not have the best answers, but this is just my opinion here. Firstly, let's see a small black box put beside the FM tell that only populates rewards when you complete the task, and have it function kind of like the Plundra, so when you take something uh, out of it, it happens universally for all the black boxes. And again, similar to the Plundra, these would only have loot native to the host or client, so someone can't come through and steal the rewards that you've earned so far. And for the first and last issue, there are two sides of the same coin. Basically, we need better rewards, which ties back to us needing better weekly or monthly assignments. Either crank the difficulty on weeklies and really challenge us, or give us bigger monthlies that have fat rewards that we can be genuinely excited about. Like a 5C weapon, just some random 5C weapon, or a random schematic, or a 5C attachment, or one piece of unique vanity item that you've custom made for the assignment, or one unique emote, again, custom made for completing the assignment. Maybe say Tansemla poofed into the box, or one holy hand grenade. Even if the holy hand grenades still don't work, it doesn't matter, man. Three firework boxes, the list goes on and on, and depending the drive of the team, you could even introduce new novel items for us to obtain through these assignments. Like, say, one single massive EMP that you could set off that, like, 
nukes an entire field, uh, or like EMPs an entire field, uh, a crazy firework that explodes in the systemic reaction logo up in the sky as a lure or something. There's a lot of ways you could introduce novel items in these assignments, and that would be the thing, in my opinion, that would ultimately make assignments truly rewarding for us as the players. But let's snap back to reality here for a quick second. Now, asking this much of the team might be out of scope of me. Having something new and novel on a month-to-month -month basis is incredibly difficult to do, but I personally don't doubt it's within the team's current capabilities. I have a lot of faith in the Generation Zero and the Systemic Reaction team, uh, and I personally believe that it ultimately would be a prime solution to the current state of assignments. So let me know, my dudes, what do you think can be done to improve assignments? Do you think my ideas work for you? Uh, or do you think that my ideas are crap? Let me know your thoughts and feels in the comments down below so we can, as per usual, have a place where the team can come to for some good constructive feedback if they ever need to. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for listening and hearing me out here. Cheers, folks, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.